Hello, my name is Hiro Yamamoto and I'm from Edge Analytical Laboratories. And I'm here today to give you a demonstration on how to uh, grab a bacteria sample for analysis. When you come to our lab, you'll get this little uh, sample bottle with paper wrapped around it. The paper is uh, for you to fill out with all the information for your water system. It also has instructions on the back, so this will help clarify if you have any further questions. And here is our sample bottle, it's very simple. It has a little white powder in it, that's a preservative for the sample. Um, just to, and it, on a side note, every once in a while this stuff will actually turn to liquid and you'll find a bottle that actually looks like it has liquid to begin with. Do not be alarmed, everything will be okay. Um, that is just the preservative. But the important thing here is we want to fill this bottle to the 100 mil mark um, and we actually might want to have it just slightly above that because we don't want it below, right? Um, when we uh, grab our sample, there's a few things we want to avoid. Um, we want to avoid having false positives. So a lot of people will uh, spray down their sample tap with some sort of antiseptic. Other people will use isopropyl alcohol to wipe down the, the end, end of the sample tap. Um, the other thing we want to do is remove any of the aerator devices that are on the sample tap. That, we, that will uh, eliminate any rocks and pebbles contributing to the bacteria. And one thing we want to avoid is getting a sample from a swivel tap, like might, might be in your kitchen, because we found that uh, underneath that swivel that can bring bacteria up into your sample. Okay, so that's where we're starting. I'm gonna go uh, work over to the faucet and we'll grab our sample. Okay, so now we're ready to grab our sample. Um, here we are at the faucet, a little caveat. We're, uh, I'm using a swivel faucet because that's all that's available to us. But you can see I've removed the aerator. That's the thing that screws into the edge of this faucet. And um, so you can see there, there's little rocks in there that can actually lead to a false positive. Okay, now that we've got the aerator removed, I'm just gonna spray the end of the faucet down with a little bleach water. This way, like I said, some people will wipe this down with isopropyl alcohol. It just helps uh, eliminate any false positives. Now that we've done that, we're just gonna run the water. And this is where we want the water to stabilize in temperature so that we're actually getting a representative sample from the water system. So this takes about three minutes. And we're gonna just run the water like that. We're jumping ahead in time. Our water is stabilized. We're gonna slow down the flow. So we got it down to a trickle, more like a pencil. Now we're gonna take our bottle. Let's take a look at our bottle here. Um, it has a little custody seal that uh, shows if it's been tampered with. So what I'm gonna do is I wanna just tear this off because I don't want this little piece of tape getting stuck under the lid because that could lead to a false positive. So I'm just gonna stick that there out of the way. Um, we've got our sample down to a nice stream. We wanna fill this up to the 100 mil mark, this little line that's on the bottle. So I'm gonna uncap it, try not to breathe into the bottle and we're gonna slowly fill this up. As we get to that 100 mil mark, we're gonna pull it away, make sure that we are at 100 at least. I'm gonna just give it a little more just to get a little bit more. Seal it up. We know that we're filled up. I'm gonna just tip it over to get that preservative mixed in. We can turn off our water. Now you're just gonna to wanna to fill out your uh, sample information and the paperwork that you have and deliver this to the laboratory. Um, this test has to be performed within 30 hours of sampling. So it's important that you deliver it to the lab within 24 hours. So it's time to get this guy in a cooler and bring it on in. Alrighty, thank you very much.